Hi there, this is Peter here. So, you know, way back in the year 1926, when one of the most profound theoretical physicists, Paul Dirac, discovered a beautiful equation. That's what we call Paul Dirac's equations. Now, the Paul Dirac's equations describe about full electron particles, which are negative energy particles. And those full electron particles are tending to collapse into lower negative energy states. So, to prevent the collapsing of the particles, Paul Dirac uses the OPI exclusion policy principles which will prevent the collapsing of the full electron particles into low and negative energy states. However, the Paul Dirac introduced the Dirac C. In Dirac C, if any sort of electron particles gain low amount of energy, then that electron particle will turn into positive energy particles. But after some time, Paul Dirac noticed there's a hole beside the electron particles. And then, very first of all, Paul Dirac thought it might be a proton particles. But furthermore, here it comes Rouse with Herman Valley, and Herman Valley calculated the whole size, and he detected that the whole size was equivalent to electron particles. The whole size was smaller than the proton particles, all about 1,836 times, and that's where the Paul Dirac acquired the predictions of antiparticles from his own Paul Dirac equations.